Just going to uh, do a little bit of investigative journalism and find out what the boys really think of Neil's chances of uh, retaining the sprint jersey. So Cam, what do you think of uh, Neil's chances to uh, get that sprint jersey back today? Uh, to be honest, pretty slim. Mark, what do you think of Neil's chances? Look, it was never our uh, aim for Neil to get the jersey. Um, he's fallen into it, he's lucked out. Um, and actually, I was quite happy that the New Zealand guy took the jersey off him yesterday. He's uh, He's getting, getting a bit of an ego about himself, and yesterday I just pulled him back to earth again. Liam, what do you think of uh, Neil's chances? Oh, I don't, I don't rate it. I think we're all working for Scott, aren't we? That was, that was our plan once Neil, Neil left. Fetchy, what do you think of his chances of uh, getting... To be honest, I thought I was our sprinter. I mean, I go for a sprint, this, this long-haired, khaki-looking bloke would just come around me and... Yeah, yeah just like he fell into the jersey. I don't know how he got it, really, but... Yeah, I'm glad the New Zealand dude's got it now, so we don't have to worry about that now. Cal, what do you think? Neil, I, I think Neil is a hoax. Um, <laughs> no chance. Um, I mean, the guy can't even remember to do up his jersey on the podium. <laughs> Scott, what do, you, what do you think of Neil's chances of getting that jersey back? Yeah, I think I think he's just too big for the bunch, really. He's just his height, really. Um, doesn't really help. Everyone's quite small than he is, so he cops a lot of wind. And plus that hair, it just it's not very aerodynamic and it doesn't really help him in the sprint. So I think I think he just needs to lay low and, and forget about the sprint. There's a fair suspicion that he's actually fallen into this without any talent at all. He's an accidental hero. Um, and now uh, that he's lost the jersey, I think we think that the New Zealander uh, really deserves it and the cream really is rising to the top. So the boys have all jumped ship. They've bailed out on Neil. They realise that he's a sinking, sinking ship and they're all jumping onto the Scott Law ship. Well, Neil, I've just interviewed all of your teammates. Uh-oh. Ah, is that where you've been? Yes, and it's fairly interesting. Yeah. They, all, they all think that you've uh, accidentally got this jersey and that um, you've got no chance of getting it back today. What do you say to that? Um, it wasn't an accident. It definitely was an accident. <laughs> Well, there's, fair bit, there's a fair weight of evidence to suggest that it was. They're saying Even the you're, guys who were leading me out. Oh, well, they're saying you're far too tall and your hair's <laughs> definitely slowing you down. Yeah, the hair's definitely slowing me down. I think we all agree on that. But look, there's an arrangement within the team. Like, if we win a stage, the hair gets shaven. So it's no accident that the hair's this long. If they could just win a stage, then the hair wouldn't be here. Oh. I knew it. I knew I should have bunked up there. Have a guess how many people have visited us the last day. How many? I don't think anyone. If they wanted to come, they would come. So, I've had a bit of time to uh, reflect on the sort of, I guess, mutiny that's evolved over the past 24 hours and had a bit of time to think about it. And it's become more and more clear to me cause of it all. Originally I was suspecting, as you probably heard, that it was that they were in the, the upper cabin and Scott Law was sort of poisoning their minds, trying to get them on his lead out train. But I think I've realised that it's all, it's it's more than just the cabin thing. Tom's in the other room now, so I can't be too loud, but I think he's actually on their side too. He's got the headphones on, so I don't think he can hear me, but I can't be too careful, but... I think it all comes down to, in the end, the curly hair. They, they're always saying, oh, cut your hair. Why don't you cut your hair? And you're like, you should get a haircut. It's so slow. It's not aerodynamic. They're really cool. Like, curls get the girls. That's what everyone says. Everyone knows. My grandma was upfront about it. She always said that she was jealous of my curls. And, you know, I applaud her honesty. But these guys, they just say, oh, cut it off. But, yeah, yeah, not one curl among them, and I've got hundreds. It's unfair. I'll, uh, I understand, like, Trent, the mechanic, does. He does. You don't hear him saying, oh, cut your hair, Neil. He understands. Um, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to move on. Or cut, or cut my hair. Like, I straightened it at the start of the tour, and that helped for a few days. It stopped. But, uh, as the curls came back, so did that same old feeling that I was being watched. Jealousy. 
You know what I'm talking about if you've got the curls. It's a heavy burden. <coughs> but they're not going. Not unless these Hubbards win a stage. I'm keeping the curls. That's it. Over and out.